I'm doing pretty good. We're here with another store tour of Atlanta Brick Co. Live. So I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions, kind of virtually shopping for anyone who has anything they want to know about the store, looking at all the cool Lego stuff we have for sale, and just talking about all sorts of stuff too. Don't forget to like and comment because we're going on right now. Let's see all the comments that have already kind of been in the chat. See, Dawson was first after myself saying, hey, Mark and Steven, hope you're having a good day today. Oh, appreciate it, Dawson. Hope you're having a good day too. Let's see. Um, do you have Brick Arms, Camo, A, B, C, and D packs for sale, and how much are they? We will definitely go look at those, Dawson. Let me quickly cover the Speed Champions too. Let's see, Nexus is here, Morgan is here, Carter is here as well. There's a Nexus Knight poly bag in the very left of the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna have to change that thumbnail, oh dear. T Valkyrie is here as well. And we got Gary, good to see Gary. Review 3D is here. Bunch of our friends. So many friends, all right, let's see. And Chris Dodson is here, awesome. All right, how the grump is everyone today? There's Grumpy J, good to see Grumpy J. Maybe I, I visit that site too often, lol. <laughs> Yep, uh, Morgan is, is definitely a frequent shopper on atlbrick.com, that's for sure. Liam Brooks is saying, hey, Minecraft. Yeah, we could definitely look at Minecraft, Liam Brooks. Uh, who else would ask about it? There's Duder Bricks. Tour time, it sure is. There's Dawson. There's T Valkyrie. Yep, all of our friends. Good to see everyone. So this is the uh, Speed Champions case. Many of us have seen this before. However, it is better illuminated. We got a new light put over it so you can actually see it. And uh, yeah, so it, it's easier to see all the awesome product back here. This whole area of the store is a little bit better now that we've got a new light put over it. But let's go look at those uh, camo packs for Dawson. And then we'll be looking at Minecraft next, I think. That was the next request that I remember seeing. Let's go see if we got those camo packs. We did have them at one point. I don't know if we still do. We'll find out here. Not seen them. Uh, do we still have those camo packs from Brick Arms? I'm thinking we might be out. We have a bunch of packs, but not maybe not those. So. Check our website. That's the best way to know. Yeah. So the site does show Quickie Mart is sold out. Uh oh. Joe's looking at it. Yeah, that's probably because somebody named Mark took it before I Was it me? Oh no. Well, hopefully it's it's back online soon for you guys. Alrighty, so let's go look at Minecraft since Lemur Bricks is very interested in that. We'll go check it out. I think I'm gonna look at the built Minecraft first, see if there's anything new down there. Rex is here. I'm back, boys. Good to see you, Rex. And Connor Hoffman says, "Can we see the train sets? We sure can. If we get 50 likes, will you post a next night set review?" <laughs> Oh, no, that would be torture. I'd have to get more likes than that. Um, I'll think of a 50 like goal. If we get to 50 likes, I might buy an extra light minifigure. That sounds pretty good. All right, we've got the Nether Fight. That's actually a, a box set back there. That's pretty cool. You got a couple um, Minecraft caves. You got a Nether Bridge there. Looks pretty neat. Uh, pirate Ship, Jungle Temple, Bunch of Ghasts, and the um, uh, Underwater Monument, the Ocean Monument. Sounds like a fair trade. There you go. Now you guys have to get all the way that those likes counts. I see 17 likes right now. It's pretty good. Built Star Wars as always. That's what Morgan wants to see. We'll go look at that in just a second, too. Duder Bricks dropping the mark and next to night emojis. Oh, those, they, I never thought I'd see those two comboed together. It's, it's horrible. All right. <laughs> Do you have the Lego Ninjago um, Graydon Walker? I'm not sure which one that is. I'm going to have to ask Joe. He might, he might know. Can we see the Incredibles minifigs? We sure can. We're actually right where they would be, theoretically. But I'm not seeing them here. Here's a bunch of speed, let's see, speed racer, avatar. Oh, there's some incredible figures. There we go. So you've got Mr. Incredible. Looks like you have Dash. Looks like you have the, uh, uh, whatever um, his or her name was, the, uh, the hypnotic character. And you got the uh, the mole guy. He was pretty fun, too. So you got a couple of the characters, and they're all pretty affordable. I think Dash is the only expensive one. He's 25. They might have been looking at the wrong listing because it said it's on 
online. Okay, so the Quickie Mart should be on the website, atlpark.com. We'll get to that soon, I'm sure. Yeah, it's on there. Gotcha. Thank you, Joe. New sealed Quickie Mart, Simpsons house. Yes. They're in the thumbnail. I mean, people probably have seen them, so. There's that Scooby-Doo, the mystery machine as well. Marble figs, please. We can look at that, too. And hello there, Grumpy Jace. is next to Zach. Very nice. Let's go look at built Star Wars. Actually, this is all built Star Wars. Let me back up just a hair. BJ says, I watched the haul video and was going to call in and order the uh, <laughs> Tower of War think, but it sold during the video recording. LOL. Yeah, it sure did. Uh, BJ, I'm so sorry. Um, I was filming uh, a rare set collector video for our membership program because every week or two, we post at least one video showing off some of the new sets we might have gotten in. And one of those was a Tower of War think, which is really cool. But... While I was doing the video, a minute after I'd set it down, somebody had bought it over on the website. So it was sold. Sorry, guys. No more Tower of Orthanc right now. I bet it was Steven. Could have been. Yeah, the Orthanc Tower dis disappeared during the haul. was pretty funny. <laughs> that was the first time I've had that happen to me. I I'll tell you what. Uh, it might not be the last. We'll see. Things are still going good for Lego sales. I'll tell you what. Anyway, so we got... Several nice built sets. I'm liking these. Um, you got an X-Wing, a Y-Wing, a couple Slave Ones, or Boba Fett Starship, whatever you like to call it. There's a... I like that old-style Naboo security speeder. Pretty cool. Old Yoda's Hut as well. Pretty affordable at $30 and $40. Got the Meditation Chamber. I think that's without figs. You got uh, Yoda's lightsaber back there. That's pretty nice. $250 seems like a lot for a little lightsaber handle, but... <laughs> Han shot first? Maybe he did. I don't know. I need to I need to look up the controversy and figure it out. I think in the original script, he was supposed to have shot first, but I'm not sure. I recommend the Porg sculpture. Uh, it looked weird on the box, but I love it in person. There you go. I think this one is missing a few pieces on the face. That's why it's only $100. I think so, yeah. I think it's missing. It's kind of like its uh, upper lip. So he's a little messed up Borg, but um, he's still lovable. There's the old land speeder down there, fourteen ninety nine. Got a Millennium Falcon, some mini ships, bunch of busts, and other things here. I like that. Uh, uh, what's his name? Poe Dameron's uh, X Wing. That took me a second. Notice that you guys had a couple of the Sonic the Hedgehog sets. I was wondering if you could get me an individual Sonic figure. That's something that would be best to look up on the website there, Carter. But I can go check the license stuff to the right, too. <laughs> you got the Daily Bugle? Um, I don't think we do right now. I can go look there, because we're looking at Marvel for Rex after this. But let's finish touring through built Star Wars. Poe's Halloween X-Wing, black and orange. It does definitely have Halloween colors. It definitely looks like that. Couple more busts, another Millennium Falcon with some nice figures. A few more ships. That's an interesting Old Republic ship. I like that uh, pod racer back there. Not sure if those engines are right. I feel like those engines might need to be fixed. Maybe they were built wrong. Bunch of micro ships. There's a nice uh, Slave One, one of the older versions with the old sand green and brown. And moving right along, I'm just about done with built Star Wars. A couple more X-Wings, Y-Wings, Slave Ones, Millennium Falcons. There's an old pod racer. That's pretty special. I feel like Mark completely ignored my question. Oh, did I? I might have missed it. Hold on, scrolling back. Mark, who won the minifigure build battle? Oh, um, if it was the, the Chima slash Zootopia one, I think Steven was winning that one. But I'm not sure. It's, it's easy to count up how many comments were there, so... There's Fazoom. Good to see Fazoom as well. And then <laughs> we just said, oh no, the, the Porg is disfigured, but still lovable. Exactly. I think that's why he's a bargain. He's a bargain Porg. Ooh, there's a cool Jedi uh, vehicle right there. The, the ship. Whenever you spot those older public stuff, it looks pretty cool. Very nice. When Captain Picard used the Force against the Stargate, I lost it. What, Corey, come on. That's sacrilegious. You can't just go around saying stuff like that. What's up, Lego peeps? It's Geology Joe. Good to see you, Geology Joe. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We sure appreciate it. 
Let's move on to uh, Marvel, I think was the next request. We looked at Minecraft really quick. Uh, we looked at uh, Brick Arms briefly for Dawson. Let's keep moving around, let's see here. Castle slash Viking Mayfigs, I will gladly look at those next. Let's see, anything else? Not that I see. There's Bill. Hello there, Bill. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I think we're caught up. All right, cool. If anyone's comment is missed, just keep commenting until I get to it. And Ninjago. Yes, Lemur Bricks would like to see Ninjago too. So we're looking at Marvel. And I think we're talking about Marvel minifigs in particular. So we're looking at some Chitari. You got the AIM agents and the Outriders. They're all kind of like 5 for $20 or $23. Some bargains there. Don't forget the best sub theme. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nexo Knights needs at least 30 likes before we go even look at Nexo Knights. Got to get at least nine more likes to my counter. So. so we've got quite a few good Marvel figures. I'm actually li liking the, the Shang-Chi characters right there. I would, I'm would i tempted by those. They're also pretty affordable. You got Captain America. You got Thor. Black Widow. Black Panther. Valkyrie. Captain Marvel. Iron Man. A whole bunch of great characters. There's Star-Lord, you got Spider-Man, Green Goblin, Mysterio, Venom, Carnage. And they're all on atlbrick.com, or you can buy them in store as well. Lots of built sets as well. No more sale on built sets, but we'll probably have some sales coming up soon. Attention, if you are watching this video, give it a like. Thank you, Carter. Appreciate it. Do you have the original Doc Ock? We might. Let me look up for that really quick, Zach. Sorry to turn everybody around. Let's see. We just got a couple of the newer versions. Looks like I don't see the classic version. So I think we don't have the classic version out right now. We might have it in the back, but I think it's kind of not super likely. So I would say probably not right now, but thank you that. Thank you for asking. Wolverine minifig. I don't see him either. Cuz he actually was right up in the front here for a while. But I don't see him either. So I think we're out of Wolverines too. I would probably just quickly check atipbook.com to make sure. But yeah, I think we're out right now. I, I, I imagine he would be right here if we had him. Mark, did you see the new Mario animated movie trailer? Yes. It looked great. The visuals were spectacular. However, I'm still distracted by the fact that Chris Pratt is voicing Mario. I think it's funny. I think it's weird. I, I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> So, so um, we'll see how it goes. However, it looks fabulous. So I think that, it, at least in the aesthetics department, it's fine. But we'll see how well Chris Pratt can actually convey the character of Mario. I don't know why everyone hates Chris Pratt. No, I don't hate Chris Pratt. I actually really like Chris Pratt, especially in, like, the Lego movie or Star-Lord or other characters he's played. But I just don't think that was the right casting. And so we'll see. Lego Punisher minifigure. I don't think we have any since last time, Dawson, but we can check. Let's look at um, Ninjago here really quick. Ask Joe what he thinks about the Mario movie. He probably doesn't even have an opinion. I don't think he's seen it yet, or the trailer. We can check with him, though. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't pick the original guy to play Mario. It's not like they're making a new game every day, exactly. Jack Black is amazing as Bowser. He sounds civilized. Yeah, Jack Black, I think, was actually a very good casting. I liked him in Parks and Rec, yes. He was very good in Parks and Rec. I didn't see all of Parks and Rec, but I saw most of it, and he was one of my favorite characters for sure. I'm still not sure about the voice, but not sure I could stand the um, classic Mario voice for a 100-minute movie. Exactly. I, I'm not sure if the classic one would have been the best choice either. It's hard to say. It's a very hard character to get right for voice, I think. But we'll see. Oh, come, on, but come on, people. I don't think a movie where Mario sounds like how he would in the games wouldn't work. That's true. That's true. It might work just fine. I think uh, I would I would have had it closer to the games, in my opinion. Any chance the Garmin and Garmin and Garmin set is in stock? The Walking Shark Mike. I don't see it here, BJ. And if I don't see it here, it's unlikely to be here. But yeah, I'd say probably not. But if it's on the website, then that means it might not have gotten out yet, or it's just kind of hidden behind one of these other ones. But yeah, right now I would say probably not, BJ. Also got a bunch of Ninjago figures. And builds. A couple spots empty, though. I think we've sold a few. So we need to kind of work on Ninjago and fill up some of these gaps. And gaps in the figures, too. 
Chris Pratt already has so many figs. Owen, Star-Lord, Emmett, now Mario. Exactly. I think maybe Chris Pratt, I wouldn't think it was the perfect choice for that, but yeah. I want to know what Peach will be like voiced by Anna Taylor-Joy. That should be interesting, too. I think that'll be fine. What were we heading over to? Castle and Vikings figs, I think. We could talk about Daniel while we're doing this. Let's see. I don't know how this would work. It's, it's a me, Mario, and Mamma Mia. That wouldn't sound so good for a movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Don't know if it would exactly flow right for a big budget movie. You got the Deadpool minifig. I didn't see him, Rex, um, but uh, probably worth checking on atlbrook.com. I don't think we have any right now, though. We have customs, but we do not have the official. Gotcha. So Joe says we have the custom printed Deadpools, but not the official ones. G good to know. Nice layout of the Forceman minifigures. I know, right? There's a ton of them, and they all look great. They're keeping the best part out of the teaser, Princess Peach. Exactly. We still haven't heard DK and Luigi either. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, I think we heard Luigi just a little bit, because he's voiced by Charlie Day, which I really like. I like that casting a lot. So I like Charlie Day as an actor, too. Um, how many likes to get Mark to do the, the stream in Mario voice? Oh, no, no, we don't want to do that. That'd have to be, like, at least 45 likes. And only if everyone wants it to be that way. Next nights are greater than trains? Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Corey? What are you saying? That's crazy. Josiah is here as well. Good to see you, Josiah. And Malastare. Good to see you, Malastare. Daniel's real fear is not... Isn't his time at Netherworld, it's not getting his work done on castle minifigures. Exactly. Yeah, Netherworld didn't scare Daniel at all. It was just the castle figures. That's what scared him. Love the team building video to Netherworld. That was pretty fun. I'm sorry we couldn't show the inside. It's all copyrighted for good reason. They want people to go to the place. They don't want to just watch a video and see it. So, But uh, it was fun. It's-a me, a Mark, a Mamma Mia. It's an Exo Knights. Duder bricks dropping the Mark emoji and some castle shields. Love it. I think Jack Black is probably the best casting choice in the movie. I think so, too, Carter. I think Jack Black is great. Geology Joe is giving us the LOL. Make Mark Mario. <laughs> MMM. Mm. So why was Joe and Steven not there? That's a good question, Nexus. Apparently, uh, Joe and Steven are cowardly and were afraid of going to a haunted house and afraid of being afraid, so they did not attend. Which is sad, but, you know, we, we can't... They're, they're adults, and they can decide what they want to do. Ooh, look at these ninja figures. They're awesome. Very nice ninja figures. And there's the note reminding us that Daniel's still working on the castle figures. Let's see, what was the last request? I'll sign that paper for Zoom. There you go. <laughs> what character is Jack Black playing? Oh, he's playing uh, the new Bowser in the new uh, Mario movie, according to the trailer and, uh, um, you know, various sources like uh, IMDb and whatnot. So, were those some sealed pirates? Oh, they might have been, uh, Malastare. We can go check back in just a second. But I wanted to show these cool sets over here. They were on the thumbnail, so you probably assumed we had them. But we've got the Quickie Mart, which is a very, very special set. And you've got the Simpsons House, which is another extremely awesome set. Both of these are not only new sealed, but they're the best examples of new Simpsons sets I have ever seen. These look as good, if not better, when they first came out. And so, really excited for these. Whoever gets these is going to be really enjoying these. King Koopa, exactly. Hopefully there's will be sets based off of the Mario movie with minifigures. Yeah, not the big blocky looking play figure but the actual minifigure would be super cool we'll see i still love the live action 90s mario bros movie oh no grumpy jay i don't know if we like that one that one that one's just so different hi, hi mark i've got the heart lake city drama theme in my head and i kind of like it <laughs> that's great brick lore i'm glad you're enjoying those they're a lot of fun to make they don't get a ton of views i think they're highly underrated but uh, they're, they're enjoyable. Alrighty, so we got Indiana Jones, we got a Death Star 2, we got some Technic. We've got the um, Bricklink Castle up there, the Vestas Wind Turbine, a Dino Base, Creator Sydney Opera House, and the Diagon Alley on the top row. We've got a really cool sand crawler here. So I just hear, oh, King Boop. No, King Koopa. 
Oh, in Polish it means that. Oh, okay, okay. There's, yeah, there's problems with the Mario movie so far. We'll see if it's able to um, rise to the challenge and make a great movie, or if it's going to have some issues. We'll see. I'm probably still going to watch it anyway. Uh, bye, Marcus Steven. I hope you are having a good day at work. Oh, we'll see you, Dawson. Thank you for joining us. Let's see. We've got the UCS Sandcrawler. It's a very, very nice set. We don't get it in all the time, so I really wanted to showcase that one. What else would the comments say? Danny DeVito was high on mushrooms when he made that movie, apparently. <laughs> Probably. All right, where was I? I guess we're looking for more requests, too. So if anyone has anything they want to look at. See you later, man. Thank you. We've got the Ferris wheel. We've got the, another Technic set up there. Pre Vizsla's Mandalorian Starfighter on the left. Also that Coliseum. Still here. Can't believe it. You got the Gungan sub. You got the Krennix Imperial Shuttle. Yeah. So you're getting Obi Wan, the Mandalorian fighter, and the ship for a hundred. If you're buying a new Pre Vizsla, so it's pretty cool. You got uh, more Sydney Opera Houses. You got the Cafe Corner. You've got the model team set. Oh, somebody was saying hi, Angie. Did Angie pass through the camera? Oh, there she is. She's hiding. I missed her. She's right there. Working diligently. She's looking for meat. Lego meat? Oh, okay, she's working on the CMF figures. We can show those off really quick. Oh, Angie has only worked on the bottom row so far, she wanted to point out. But they're looking really good. Look at this. We haven't had all of the CMF Series 1 in a while, and they're all there. There's also Series 2, 100% complete, so if you needed one that you're missing, let us know. There's Series 3 as well. Series 4, 100% complete. That is crazy. And Series 5, looking great too. Wowzers. And some of them have gone up too, so that's that's unfortunate, but it's good to see them all together again. Jeez, Angie, just the bottom row? Sigh. I guess that's okay, says Grumpy Jay. Oh, man, come on, Grumpy Jay. She's doing great. Man, Grumpy Jay, this is hard work. You, you... Hey, Grumpy Jay, you're fired. All these accessories are hard to find. Joe says you're fired. Yeah, that's... When you have a moment and can circle back to the sealed pirates. Oh, yes, we can do that. And has Steven made progress on the Pandora? The Pandora is essentially done. We just need the pirate captain figure and the sails to be completed. So we're just about there for you, Malister. But as you can see, it's right where it was. I think this is the same as it was last week, um, but I'm not sure. That would have been like three or four days ago so. for Friday. So. Let's see. What is Brick Ups? Brick Ups? What are, what? I don't know what Brick Ups are. Let's see, Sealed Pirates. There is a Certified Complete Pirate set down there. That's a pretty nice one. Got some smaller ones to the left of it. You've got the other pirate sets here. I really like that Islander Catamaran. Or as I called it when I was younger, the Love Canoe. Because it's just the guy and the girl having a good time out there. I mean, the guy and girl Islander having a great time. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so we got the pirate set over here, the big built one. That one's expensive because it's apparently kind of rare. And that's about all I'm seeing right now. Oh, oh, and there was a seal pirate set down here I think Malister was referring to. This one's $54.99. It's got a blue coat and a little pirate hideout for it, too, so that's pretty nice. But I think... Oh, there's another one, too. I'm guessing it's about the same price. So. I think that's about all we've got right now in the pirates department. So. I don't know what brick ups are. What? When? When did? Who's referring to brick ups? Ask Joe what is top pick for sale in the store right now. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask Jerry. That's a good question. Got any new sales printed for that commission order? Not yet, but we're planning on doing sales as part of uh, stuff that we sell at the store because that sounds like something that is very niche and we're very capable of doing with our T-shirt printer. So Joe, um, Jerry said, what were your top for picks to sell in the store. Today? Yeah. 
top four pick sale in the store right now. So like, what are some of the best things in the store? We have a Death Star 2. Death Star 2? Which is, I mean, it's Ground, but it's a Death Star 2. Yeah, it's a better deal than usual. Yeah. Uh, the Lord of the Ring sets. Yep. Oh, we need to go over there in a second. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pretty, Pretty amazing. Gary, rare technique set. Oh yeah, that's the uh, two thousand or twenty thousand were made. It's the special four by four crawler yeah. exclusive edition. So. so yeah, we got just really good stuff. And there's the Mill Village Raid with the goat, the greatest of all time. The goats. Uh, the goats, the greatest of all and times. And the pre Vizsla Fighter is just amazing. Yeah, so. pre Vizsla Fighter. A bunch of Lord of the Rings sets. I see them up there. They look really good. Oh, the old Dino series. Yeah, oh, we got a lot of that. We have all of them over there. Are they, uh... They're, the big one is up here, and then I can show you where the rest are. They're over in, by Jurassic World, maybe? No, they're actually over there. With the, like, oh, okay. Ultimate. Let's see here. I got a lot of comments, so I'm going to kind of scroll around. Oh, and Brickfire says, can we see SpongeBob sets? We might have one or two. Let's go check. And Miss Brick says, hello, Atlanta Brickco TV. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, Miss Bricks. We're doing pretty good. Wouldn't you say so, Vogan? Yes, we are doing fantastic. That's great. Appreciate it, Vogan. Let's see here. Do we have any SpongeBob sets? We might be out of SpongeBob sets right now. We do have build -a bob Oh, we have the Build-A-Bob in the back. Okay. For 600. 600. The big Build-A-Bob, yeah. Yeah. So we have one giant SpongeBob set, but no more reasonable SpongeBob sets here. Let's see. All right. Um, comments. What are the prices for picker brick cups? Well, that depends. It depends on the volume you're getting. You can get a small $5 container, I think it is, or you can get a $12 cup, or you can get a $30 shoe box. Or you can just get it by the pound. I think it starts at, what is it, $15, $16? What is it for a pound of Lego now? Um, a regular pound? If, if they get the shoebox, it's three pounds and it's $30. Mm -hmm. So it's $10 a pound. Yeah, so you can get it as low as that. So Very cool. Awesome. Should, should you show them our, our base plate? Oh, no, I haven't. We're organizing all these? Let's see. Yeah. So here's some of the base plates that we had. In the back, we weren't able to display them. So now we're working on a way that we can get these out for sale so people can buy them. Not only in store, but online. Andy's on the job right here. There you go. <laughs> Building an impenetrable fortress of base plates. Love it. That's awesome. And they're going to end up right over here. So they're going to be very accessible. Just a minute. Let's see. Uh, Carter says, I'm not trying to troll you, Mark, but I kind of have a soft spot for next tonight's. I'm, I'm not the only one, right? Uh, Carter, that's a horrible, terrible idea. Um, next tonight's are the worst. They, they're not family friendly. They were an abomination. And we're not going to talk about them until we get to, uh, I don't know. Oh, no, we're at 30 legs. Dang it. Okay, hold on. We'll go look at uh, next night's really quick. All right, all right, hold on. Let's go over there. Past the brickheads and the architecture, which are far superior. And the Batman and DC and the Lego movie. Here we are. Actually, we've got a couple new ones up here, I think. There's the Jestro's Lair set. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's horrible, terrible. No one likes this stuff. Jestro's Volcanic Lair. You've got another one. Oh, this is the next night set that I actually kind of like because it has the flaming guy. General Magmar's Siege Machine of Doom. I mean, that's a pretty cool name. Not gonna lie. You got the, the Castle on Wheels, the Four Tricks. Yeah, I said pretty cool, Grumpy J, not cool. It's just pretty cool. It's not like super cool. Let's not get over our heads here. Mark broke character for a second. You're not supposed to compliment it. Yeah, I know, Brick Virus. I got distracted. I'm tired. It's Tuesday. Anyway. Oh, and Joe says, I like any sets with volcanoes. There you go. How much for the four tricks? That's a good question. 
300 for a new sealed one. And I, I think it's that price because it's in like mint condition. This box is beautiful. So if you need the best Fortrex possible, it's right here. However, we might even have a built one over here for you. That'd be way more affordable. If I don't lose control of my camera, huh? There we go. All right. So $100 for a built one with no figures. So you can get quite a bit uh, more affordable out here. Also got a couple of Nixon Knight sets here. There's that Siege Machine of Doom without any figures, and one that has a, a figure, at least, and a few helmets up there. So that one is only $30. That's that's a pretty good deal. These That's $40. That's $50 because it has Jester on top. So you have different prices depending on what pieces are involved, too. So a couple interesting vehicles up here. Interesting and not amazing. Let's see here. Now the box is many things, but not beautiful. <laughs> That's worth every cent, isn't it? Yeah, 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 sure. All right. What else do we got? Did I miss anything? Holy cow, that's a lot of base plates. Yes, it is. 33 likes. Let's get seven more. Yeah, if we get five more now, it says 35 to my counter. If we get five more, I can put the next night armor on. We're only halfway through the stream. I think it's totally possible. If we get five more likes, we have 33 people watching. It should be possible. Let's see. Uh... Nice. When it comes to the store, y'all weren't selling base plates. That's right, Carter. We're trying to get them back out so people can buy them again. Let's see here. Uh, Mark and next night sitting in a tree. Can't... What? No. That's ridiculous. Grumpy Jay's Grumpy, Grumpy Jay's preposterous. All right. Mark said next tonight's box was beautiful. Say what? Oh, yeah. That's that was that's fake news. That's an elaboration. I didn't say that. Don't clip that. I'm dreaming. No, he didn't. Next tonight's is straight silly. Yes, it is, dude, or bricks. You're right. Bionicle is far superior. Whoops, I was so stunned by the price of the Fortex action that closed out of YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, Carter. Yeah, the, the new sealed Next tonight's can be pretty collectible, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, $30 for a shoebox of Lego. Perhaps I can get a pad out of a bunch of green and white for landscaping. I saw a video about some sweet techniques. There you go. Now you were supposed to say it's a waste of money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Next nights are way too expensive. They're horrible. Don't buy them. That's right. Josiah's right. Josiah's got has has everything in order there. Mark didn't get his, his cooties shot. Exactly. Brady is here. Good to see you, Brady. Mark, wash your mouth. That was so <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that, Gary. Uh, I was there yesterday. Oh, that's awesome, Brady. Thank you for shopping at the store. We sure appreciate it. Five likes for Mario. Come on, people. Oh, there we go. 40 likes. I got to go over there. Hold on. And review 3D is right there. 40 likes next to night emoji. Here we go. And there's no urgent requests. I guess we're heading over there. Exactly. Bonicle's the best, even though Lego made next to nights. Whoever came up with it lost their mind and their bricks. Exactly. Next to nights will drive you to madness. Don't do them. What? I didn't. What? Did, what? I said, next nights will drive you to madness. Don't do them. Oh, what? Oh. Joe has a whole collection of next nights. You gotta be kidding me. All right. Oh, here's a little teaser for an upcoming video. I got some water techniques going on here. I'm gonna be showing off for you guys how to build some of these, what their their strengths and weaknesses are. So yeah, let me. Uh, let me put this up for a second and get my handy dandy Nixonite armor here. Alrighty, and I'm wearing my red shirt just in anticipation of this very moment because I know that it actually looks pretty good on black and red versus like green or something else. So here we go. Alright, we're back. Uh, Ah, uh, my goodness, I look so good in this. There you go. That way. There you go. Oops, don't want to knock out poison ivy. See? Looks pretty good. You guys happy? I'm walking around the store full of people looking like this. And they're, everyone's jealous. There you go. <laughs> jealous is not the word you would use, Joe? Oh, come on. Is Joe right? If the chat thinks Joe is right, they need to drop the Joe emoji. That's what I say. I do like those black Tron base plates, though. Those black base plates are super cool. There you go. 
Those are awesome. They'll be on, on I think they're, if they aren't on the website soon, already, they will be soon. But yeah. And then Joe is so jealous. And then a couple people are saying, Joe must be right. Daniel pulled it off better. <laughs> there you go. It probably fits Daniel a little bit better. It's, it's, it's made for kids. I'm a, I'm a little bigger than Daniel, just a little bit, so. Joe is adding the nice QR code, so if you want to see stuff on the website you while can, shopping, you, you can, can do that. Scan. It's going to make it a lot easier. That yeah. way you can see if something's not out here, that doesn't mean we don't have it. Tell Daniel, Daniel, he looked better in the armor. I don't think I want to tell him that. That's not... I'll go tell him. Well, okay. You look so happy in that. It's just like, yeah, I'm overjoyed. That's what I am. With craters. Any new space base plates? Oh, with the craters? Uh, Andy, did you see any of the classic space base plates with the crater design? Oh, there's some right to the edge of that. You want to pull those out real quick for Geology Joe? These are going to get uh, washed, but we have two of them. Gotcha. And they're pretty yellow. They're a little bit beige colored. But if you wanted an affordable beige colored asteroid spot, you could get one of those at some point. Or send us an email. So thank you, Andy. Didn't mean to distract you. No, that's fine. But these are, these are going to be washed. So. Fantastic. Yeah, they will be processed. So, yeah. Geology Joe says, awesome. Yes, they are pretty cool. We need custom printed classic space base plates. Oh, that would be interesting. Beige, like the cover of the sets. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, we could. We'll go with that for Zoom. They're they're authentic. They're like the tan landscape of the lunar surface. They're not yellow. They are from a different planet. Exa yeah, thank you. Yeah, Grumpy Jay's right too. That's you guys got all the the answers we need. Alrighty. Any other? I'm probably missing a ton of comments. Let me see here. Um. Mark is officially Brick Daddy. There you go. Miss Brick says, suits you. Oh, thank you, Miss Bricks. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, Mark is styling. Oh, my goodness. You need to show Angie these techniques. I, I try. I try to pass down what the few things I know. Uh, I feel we should set a goal of 100 likes for the video to get Mark to cosplay as Next Nights for Halloween. Oh, no. Actually, I could probably make a cool Next Night armor costume. Water Techniques is going to be awesome. Such a glorious looking set of armor. Yeah, I don't think I missed too many comments. There you go. Let's go back down. Uh, let's see. Did you hear of the Fortnite Battle Bus? I did, Josiah. I'll be talking about it tomorrow morning. Um, and that'll be fun to uh, discuss. I think it's way too late. Like, this should have happened five years ago. No joke. Um, but yeah. It's cool, though. Hopefully, the Fortnite fans who like LEGO can enjoy it. See, Joe can't handle not having that much drip. Exactly. That's right, Brickfires. How much will the gray base plates cost? Um, kind of depends. Ones like that that are in not perfect condition should be a little more affordable. But I'm still guessing they're going to be like $20, $30. They could be more. I don't know. Burnt by the sun. Yes, the sun of outer space. Yeah. Do you have the Matanui Bionicle? We probably have a few of them uh, next this week and check. They're pretty cool. Guess I know what I'll be doing the next couple days. UCS Razor Crest just arrived at my doorstep. There you go, Morgan. That's a reason to celebrate. That set looks pretty cool. It's almost as cool as the custom built mocks that I've seen people do. Wait, the lunar surface is not covered with cheese? <laughs> exactly, Gary. That's what I believe. I think that the moon landings were faked because they're not covered with cheese. All right, so uh, 1999, there's a Mata Nui, I believe, because it's the original Toa Mata were the first wave. Mata Nui have the silver armor and they're the second wave, so there's another one. I don't know the names of all the characters, but there's two, oh, three. There's the third one, the green one. Yeah, a couple different characters. Not all of them, though. We haven't had the uh, complete collections of waves of Bionicle in a while. We still have a few, though. I think you missed it while you were putting on the armor. Uh oh, let me see here. Earlier asked about the city road plates, the new ones. Oh, yes, um, Carter. We probably have a few sets that include them, but we don't have them individually for sale yet. Like, I think this... No, that doesn't have the new ones. Does this have the new ones? This one has some of them, but it's like the whole fire station, too, and not everyone needs a fire station right now. So we have a few sets that have them, but I don't think we have them separately. We have more of the old school base plates because we get traded the older Lego stuff usually. From older collections. We do have a bunch of city sets in stock right now, though. I do love that uh, lunar base. We were talking about the, the old space base plates that uh, is reminiscent of that. 
A little expensive, but still cool. Let's see. Rumor has it that someone sent you a new Nexo costume. Oh, that is right, Duder. I uh, I have a picture. I'll probably have to post it in our uh, um, you know community tab on our YouTube channel. I know. They haven't sold yet. Somebody needs to buy these. Somebody will get them. They'll be gone by Christmas, Joe. Don't worry. People are just waiting to Black Friday. But yes, someone sent me a new Nexa costume. The problem was, uh, apparently my shoulders are too big for it, and it started cutting off the circulation, so I couldn't keep it on very long. But maybe I could customize it for Halloween. That would be pretty fun. Oh, you want? Do we have that still, Joe? Because you took the picture. So. Double check. Joe will double check for that. I'll look at the sets up there. You still have it. Okay. Let's see. There we are. Amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah, I think my shoulder was starting to uh, have like a blood clot reaction, though. It was like it was starting to turn pink a little bit. So I need to I need to cut some seams so that I can breathe a little bit. Yeah, it, it was. A, it, it's designed. It's designed for a seven-year-old child, and my shoulders have gotten a little broader since then. So, a little bigger than seven. Oh my goodness! All right. Um, let's see. Showing off again, Morgan. Oh well, congrats. Most terrifying thing is Mark wearing Nexo suit for a Halloween costume. That <laughs> would be funny. The ir irony there would be hilarious. I think it's late, but it's still popular. Unlike how they did Overwatch sets. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, because Overwatch has got like a reset. They they closed down Overwatch 1 for multiplayer. And other, Overwatch 2 is all you can play. So, it's interesting. Just got a 25-pound lot of bulk Lego. Got it from Goodwill Finds. That's pretty good, Geology Joe. Hopefully you find some good pieces in there. Mark, I watched your Halloween video. Many new faces on screen. Yes. We have quite a few uh, workers that work during the weekend. Or just work on the back, or you know, they're not typically in the camera because we basically just see Chris, Angie, and the front end workers like Joe. Joe, okay, we see Joe every day, I think, yeah. pretty much. You probably want to. Yeah, and we see Vogan a lot, we see Grant a lot, we see Ethan a lot, but we don't see too many other employees, and we do have a lot of other employees. So, yeah. like for example, we don't see Will every day. We got sorters that are in the basement. Yeah. You know, people in the back who you don't see, like the inventory girls. Weekend people. Went, right? Quite a few of them went. Yeah, so it was good. I didn't go because. Yeah, why didn't you go, Joe? You want to tell us about that? Well, I was moving into my house. Oh, I thought I think you're just scared. No. I think I you're was, scared. You, busy. you don't even be scared by next nights and stuff. That, that would scare me. That. <laughs> next night's <fun> <laughs> it was basically the same thing. Sounds you know. About right. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right. All right. Time to clock out. I will watch the rest of the video later, guys. Have a good day. Thank you, Malister. We appreciate it. I'd rather buy the Mill Village Raid. I know, that's a good one. Let's go look at that really quick. Hold on, let me head over there. Let's go over these customers here. Excuse me, everybody. Hey, guys, welcome in. Let me go get that Mill Village Raid. It's not a Wolfpack Raid. It's a Mill Village Raid. I don't know if I can reach it. Can you get the ladder? I just got it. There we go. Okay. Set it down right here. Mm. That is pretty amazing. Why didn't Steven go? I'm not sure. I think he was scared too. Happy next Halloween, Mark. Oh no, we're not doing that, William. That's not going to start. Got to go. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Giorgio. We sure appreciate it. Oh, and there's Raymond as well. Good to see you, Raymond. Thank you guys for watching. We sure appreciate it. All right. Chris had to get by. Looking at this awesome Mill Village raid. What I like about this is there's just the guys trying to raid the Mill Village, and then all the villagers are just fighting back, dropping apples on their head, using pitchforks to uh, stop them from stealing their gold coins. You want to know what I like about this? Set? The goats. Goats. There's two, there's two majestic goats. Also, this is probably the best horse. The gray horse is pretty awesome too. It's the old style horse, but it, it's gray, and they've it never made a gray horse it, since. I mean, so. that's unique to the set, and the pig is cool too. It really is. Just overall, beautiful set. Exactly. Oh, did Brickfires have to go too? Hold on. 
I have to go, guys. Evil sleeps as well. We'll see you, Brickfires. Thank you. I think Brickfires is over in Greece, too. So that's a later in the evening, I think. So, Well, everyone, middle school day finished for the day. There you go. And Raymond's here. There we go. Here's an idea. Put the next tonight Lego boxes together to make a suit that is form-fitting. Scary Lego sets make a good costume. <laughs> that would be funny. Let's see. Two goats. Awesome. I love all the apple bonking that guy on the head of the Mill Village raid box. Exactly. I mean, they literally... Donk! He discovered gravity before Isaac Newton did. What? You see that? The apple's hitting his head. You're right. He did discover it. How much if I sell you the goats back? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Sorry, sorry, Joe. Uh, so, Chris, if somebody bought the Mill Village raid set and then traded those goats back, how much in store credit would they get? So, if we were to take the goats out and just send them the set without the goats, yeah, uh, we'd probably knock off. Uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, don't quote me on it. Yeah, but an estimate. 150 off, yeah. It sounds about right. So, and this one is pretty expensive. It's at $600 right now just because of the goats. We sell them for lots of money. So, don't unseal it. Don't unseal it. Yeah, we, aren't, we won't unless somebody buys it and gives us precise instructions for what to do. Yeah. So, $5.99 for this bad boy. That's why super cool, super expensive, but yeah. I also like those uh, Hobbit sets up there, too. They are nice and sealed as well. They came with the same collection that had the Quickie Mart and the Simpsons house. Are those windmill blade parts unique to the set or used in other places? I think they're rare, but I don't think they're just unique to the set. I'm not sure though. You'll have to double check on Bricklink Morgan. I was there earlier. There you go, Mia. We appreciate you shopping here. It is 77 degrees here in Amarillo, Texas. There you go. That sounds nice. Raymond, I think that's probably not far from what it is yeah. here. It's fairly warm today, which we're fine with. It's probably one of the last few warm days we'll have for a while. That set is the goat meme, exactly. That's funny. Oh, Bricksmith's in the chat. There's, Woo! There's goats in the set. Yeah, yeah exactly. Funny because he said it. You, you see? Yep, I got it, Joe. That's good. Mark, did you get that? He said it because there's goats in the set. I so, did. This is hilarious. It, yeah. That was Will Lamb. There you go. Merc, you have to do the Mario voice now. 45 likes. Oh, no. It's me, a Mark. Is it Will Lamb or Will Go? We're going to look at uh, this Lego sets today. I sound like Jar Jar. You do. What are you trying to do, I'm trying to do Mario. I'm a horrible Mario impression. It's not a little bit close. It kind of sounds like Mario. It kind of sounds like if Mario was... So who's cheering for the Braves? Not doing well. Not doing so hot. The Braves aren't doing well? What? The Braves aren't doing well? Is that what they're not doing? Oh. Probably Phillies fans. Let's see. I did some Mario voice. I don't think you want me to do too much each. Goats go for $150 each. Yeah. I bought my two goats for 80 and 90 last year. That's a great deal, Nexus to Zach. That's amazing how they've gone up so much in the past few years. So. Maybe they'll make some more. Ask Joe if he saw the Mario movie. Oh, yeah. Let's ask Joe about that, Carter. Did you see the trailer for it yet? It's pretty cool. You should watch it. Let it. I like Chris Pratt a lot, but I'm not sure if he's the right casting for Mario. Jack Black is excellent as Bowser already, so. Ew, Phillies. At least Gary doesn't like the Phillies. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Josiah asks a Lego Masters question. Where did you film your season of Lego Masters? That would be North Atlanta area, which is about 40 minutes from here. So, not too far, about 40, 50 minutes away. So, yeah, we were the local boys for sure. So. Although they don't really announce that on the show. Not too much. Uh, Nexus is Zach says, boo. Yeah, no one likes... Oh, not a Brave fan either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Gary. Gary's not a Brave fan. Mm -hmm. I know. That's okay. Yeah. How is Angie doing on her village? We can go ask her really quick. She's working on figures. Did Vogan see the trailer? Oh, Vogan, did you see the Mario trailer? Yes. What'd you think of it? It looks really good. It looks good? I know it looks great, right? So, I'm just, I'm just worried about Chris Pratt. Oh. 
Baltimore, baby. Gary is a Baltimore fan. There you go. You know what? I kind of do have a soft spot for the Orioles. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun to watch. Sounds good. Let's see. We'll go talk to Angie about her village here. What? So, what, Gary? The can Carter can't believe it. Off? Oh, yeah. Can we turn off the music? We're going to come back there for a second. Sweet. Does Vogan hate Nexonites? Vogan, do you hate Nexonites? Uh, Got questions for Vogan. Do you hate them or no? I think hate's a strong word. Yeah. Good. Oh, yes. They've been looking really good out there, so... Very good. They, they, they're they looking fantastic. Great job. We're cheering for you. Thank you. They were asking how your winter village is doing. I didn't do a thing on it last weekend. Oh. I took Randy out for her birthday. Well, priorities, right? Yes, yeah. Priorities, so. mm -hmm. But it is coming along. Yeah. And we should film soon. Exactly. One day it'll be done. But you're taking your time. You're doing it oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing a great job. We'll film another installment again soon. Yes. And Daniel's busy with the commission, so we won't bug him too much. But I'm sure they'd say something about castle minifigures, so. Yeah. <laughs> he is working on them. Yeah. He's got them right there. Let me zoom in. He's got them right there. He has been working. Coming soon. Yep. Listen, I will vouch for him. He really, really has. He's been trying quite a bit, so. Daniel's trying. Oh, also, this. I would go bonkers. Daniel's trying. Oh, also, this. I would go they also the listen. The beauty, exactly. The, the beauty and the beast part of Daniel is that he's so good at everything that we ask him to do everything. Yeah, it's like Daniel, can you do this? You're gonna do such a great can job. You build this, Daniel. Can yeah. You do that, Daniel? Actually, working on two commission builds at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's been getting kind of hectic around here. They also s said that uh, you would fit the best in the next to night armor versus me. So yeah, I was actually getting a lot of compliments when I put it on one stream. It's, it, it it's very complimentary, good. but I mean, it, yeah. I think it's not quite built for me. It's like a little. It's about four well, inches too short. Pads are more like collarbone. They're, yeah, <laughs> collarbone <laughs> guards. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. Not uh, that they were really over my shoulders. Either. Yeah, they don't fit you either. It's it's old. made for a very small child. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Joe needs to see the trailer before making an opinion. Exactly. Sorry, I can't hear him, Mark. What did he say? Oh, <laughs> he, he, many things. You have to maybe turn up the volume. Uh, Daniel, where were the rest of the castle figures? His Nexus. <laughs> I will never rest. I will never rest till I get all the castle figs, he says. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Nexus, are you going to buy these castle figures yeah. or are you just making Daniel put them all on? So I feel like that's a good valid point. You're, yeah. If you're begging for them, you are buying all of these. Right? Yep. Yeah, Fazum says, I want to come work with you guys. Fazum, let us know. Come down here. Apply. We'll work it out. I don't know. I know youth pastoring, youth, youth pastoring is a noble cause, but I think you would have a little more Lego fun here. Just saying. You know. I don't know. It seems kind of sketchy. A for effort, Daniel. There you go. How much for 50 castle minifigures, Mark? Oh, well, it depends on which ones you want. Some of them can be kind of pricey, so I would go to atlbrick.com and see which ones we have. That's what I would do, because most of them are on there now. So. But Zoom, you never leave LOL. Yeah, he also wouldn't make that much money because he'd spend all of his money here. Just like I do. <clears throat> and uh, when will the CMF Series 6 be listed on the site? Um, they should be there already. Angie's just reorganizing them how they appear. They should all still be online. Maybe they're out of stock. But they will be back in stock soon once Angie's done. Yeah, let's see. Sorry, I can't hear Mark. What did Vogan say? Oh, Vogan said he did see the trailer, and he's excited about it. It looks good. He also said that he's not a big Next Nights fan. So, Daniel needs to wear that armor again. <laughs> we can work it out. We get enough likes, we could switch it over or something. Is that Captain Kirk chair? I mean, kind of. I think it sort of looks Captain Kirk-ish. I bought the... I, I bought like three of the most expensive castle figs. What are you talking about? Oh, see, exactly. There you go, Nexus. You are our, our number one castle figure customer so far. So, yes. Making Daniel work on it as a method, method of torture and not buying the figs. Exactly. Have you ever heard of Trilla Studios where they film almost all the Marvel movies? Yes, that's about 30 minutes away. Um, that's about 30 minutes east of us in Fayetteville. So, we know exactly where that is. Um, a couple of our uh, former workers work there. Uh, we have some people who work here that still work there, do things there, internships and whatnot. So we have connections there. It's pretty fun. I bought the Golden Knight. Oh, that is a good one. 
Mark, next so is life. That is your motivation of the day. No, that's horrible motivation, Will Lamb. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. We can't have that, that's terrible. A wise man once said, the armor makes Daniel look fly, but Mark looks silly. <laughs> that sounds about right. I live across the street from it. There you go, Josiah, that's awesome. Also, I can't buy what it is not on the website, Mark just saying. I want the 2010 Castle Fakes. Oh, yeah, they're coming up. They are coming up after Knight's Kingdom 2, which is 2004 Castle Fakes. He's going backwards in chronological order. So he's doing the oldest ones first. He's moving up to the uh, the new ones. So. That's that's what he's doing. And there's the Nexo armor for all those who are interested. Yeah, it doesn't, it just doesn't, I'm just a little too big. Oh, well. I try my best. Anyway, I think it still makes me look better, but it's just not quite the best. I just need a giant next to night armor. I could do that for Halloween. That would be tempting. Let's quickly look at Harry Potter since we haven't gotten any requests in a minute. Got a bunch of figures. They might need a little restock on the top shelf there. Some, somebody bought some stuff out. Some Hagrids are missing. You've got uh, the chest set looking good. Can you try the train in your city? It was working. I'm not sure if it still is because it keeps derailing. We can go check on that, Josiah, that'd be fun. Um, do you have any group minifigures? We can look at those. Let's go look at those, Carter. Tell Joe I can't buy what is not on the website. <laughs> I'll let him know, <laughs> Nexus, I'll tell him. I'd be like, hey, Nexus to Zach is our main castle figure guy. We need to uh, make that happen for him. Let's see. I don't hear movement, and I think the traffic light got bumped, so let me fix that. There you go. Yeah, I think the train is stalled somewhere, so we don't have a train right now. We've been working, yeah, there it is. It hit the, the, the guardrail there. The Hogwarts train is kind of notorious for not driving well, so it's probably gonna have to be replaced with a more functional train here soon. We'll see. Let's go look for a group minifigure. Where, and a, where's that? The train's stuck there. Train. The um, uh, Nexus said, I can't buy what's not on the website, and he wants castle figures, so. You gotta get on uh, Daniel, I guess, Joe. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Let's check out Harry Potter oh, next. There you go. We checked out Harry Potter for a second. We can head back there once we see group figures. Hi, I just saw the two pennants for the Forcement and New Black Falcons Lego. Are those real Lego or stickers on house? I've never seen those anywhere else. The pennants? The, uh, the flags? Hmm. Oh, we, we've had those in the past custom made. I don't think Lego's ever made fabric ones or plastic ones. So, why do you think I keep bombarding Daniel about those figures exactly? Well, we thought it was just funny, but there's also that too. Let's see, Groot, 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 Groot. Where's Groot? Is Groot missing? Groot is missing. We don't have any Groots over here. I bet you he's still on the website though. Oh, oh. if you scan that. So if you guys are on your computer, not your phone, you can scan that QR code and then see what minifigures we have in the Marvel category. And you could tell if we have a Groot or not. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's why we put it there. Because when people are in store, they don't always know that we have a website. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly. it easier for them to shop on there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's see, Mark, uh, uh, Raymond says, Mark, Thanksgiving weekend, I am going to go out to Denver and try to get two armies started. There you go. That sounds fun, Raymond. Let's see. Because you're using electricity and not magic. Oh, no. What will you do for 50 likes? We're almost there. Oh, well, I'm tired, so, and we only got two minutes left, so probably nothing. <laughs> Let's see, actually, you can just buy what's not on the website, just call in. Exactly, Duderbricks, thank you. Such a wise chat today. Everyone's giving me lots of good advice. Let's see. It was probably Joe's fault. I saw him almost take down the building last week, exactly. That sounds right, Josiah. What did I do? Apparently, you almost took down a building. A building? You're probably working on the train. Well, Mark, that armor is how you oh, get a no. girlfriend. Oh, there you go. See, Willem says, Mark, this armor is how I get a girlfriend. Do you agree, Joe? I think for the right lady, this would be the the uh, the thing that wins them over. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Well, whenever I see her, <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> you look terrified, Joe. <laughs> Poor Joe. that and goes, wow, that's scary. Attention, if you are watching, like this video, drop a like. Thank you, Carter. We've already got 46 likes. I'm pretty happy with that. 
Hello, Mario voice time. 46 likes. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Um. It's me, a Fazoom. It's me, Mark. I build the castles. That's so pathetic. I need to practice. I haven't played a lot of Super Mario Bros. I need to get more practice. You did it earlier for Zoom. Yes. No worries for Zoom. I tried a little bit. It's probably embarrassingly bad. Uh, I'm more of a Jar Jar guy. Let's see. The corner, I think, was, was a red gas station. Oh, yeah. That's right, Josiah. I was there, too. I remember seeing that. Good luck with that, Mark. Yay! Well, it worked for Fazoom. He, he's happy enough. There we go. Alrighty, we're at 60 minutes, so we're going to close it down here, guys. But thank you so much for joining. That's actually pretty good, Mark. Well, I mean, compared to some of my other accents, it's, it's pretty average. But thank you, though, Carter. Uh, Nexus to Zex is more likes. We're done with likes for today, uh, Nexus. We appreciate it. Can you hear your Jar Jar voice? Ah, uh, I don't know. Can they hear the Jar Jar voice, Joe? Mr. Jar Jar Binks, Mr. your humble servant today. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.